the ability to collaborate is one of the strongest reasons to use SharePoint. Individuals who are in different offices, different buildings, or on different continents can collaborate in real time on a single document. Now, just to get set up for the video, I've done a little bit of work in advance, and I'd like you to watch that with me. You'll notice that I started out, as I always do, in one of our libraries or one of our lists, and I grabbed one of these Excel workbooks. I right-clicked and I opened it in the web app, just because it, the experience is a little faster, and so it opened it up in this, uh, in this tab. But you'll notice something else. I'm still over here using the Ethan Kane account. You'll also notice a few other things. You'll notice that there are a couple of things you generally don't see, like what's this um, Carlos Perez thing over here? Where did that come up? And what does that mean? And a few other little things. Well, in another browser, this one, I've logged in as a different person. I've logged in as Carlos Perez, who is now following what Ethan Kane is doing. And if we do this correctly, let's get this one over to this side. And let's close whatever that is. There we are. I've got two individuals logged in at two separate browsers so we can watch what's going on behind the scenes. When you're collaborating, you should be able to see what other team members are doing in almost instant real time. So for example, if I, you'll notice the color-coded designators. If I click over here into column B as Ethan Kane, Ethan Kane gets flagged in purple over here. If Carlos Perez is editing on this side, I will see him in purple over here, where one side sees what the other sides are doing. Now maybe you've used some other online technologies before and you've seen things like this, but we can see people's changes in real time. So if I click in up here and I make a change, these are all what, six digit codes? Press enter, then Carlos Perez sees the change over here on this side. And if I have multiple users doing this, I will be able to see what multiple users are doing while we work together. Now that's some pretty powerful stuff. Let's keep looking. Let's take this up to full screen view. And now I'm over here as Ethan Kane, and I'd like to see what my partner in crime is doing. I see his initials over here. I can see he's editing cell C14, and when I click go to location, a second now. There we are. I can see where and what he's doing. There we are. You get a few more options out here as well. I'm not really interested in applying comments at this point, and Ketchup is a somewhat newer addition to all of this, which, which still to my mind seems a little bit quirky. It, it has to do well working with others and making sure that we're caught up with everybody else who's collaborating, but I think we're probably okay with that part. Now let me switch browsers for a moment. I'm going to switch over and be Carlos Perez. Let's maximize this. And of course this is how he would see what I'm doing and so on. We would go back and forth, share each other's work, Make whatever appropriate, that's, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click that. We can see each other's work, we can pass comments back and forth, and so on. Once in a great while, if, I, if it's not me pretending to be two people, and it actually is two people, a little miniature chat window comes up for us also, and we can chat and send messages back and forth to each other while we're doing our work. So this, to me, really kind of solves the problem of how do I get multiple people collaborating on a single document versus one person creating the document, sending it to the next person, and then the next person in a round-robin fashion with each individual making his or her edits. This to me really is the way to go, um, and this is turned on automatically in SharePoint Online. You don't have to do anything to get to this. Remember, however, if somebody checks out a document, that effectively blocks collaboration because that's what the checkout experience is designed to do, allow only one person to edit at a time. When that checkout is checked back in or discarded, then of course the entire team can descend on that document all at once and begin to work together. We hope this video helped. 
make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.